Welcome back to Eden Zero Anime Review, episode number 50. We're reviewing the final episode of season 2, Prelude to uh, War. That's mainly the reason why I said this one first, because it's the last one, because... I think presumably next week, I think I might be down to like one anime to work on because basically I think Saturday, like maybe, maybe it might be something around, but who knows. So, yeah, that's the reason I started this one first. Now, I'll give my final thoughts later on and how I feel about season two being stream of Crunchyroll. I'll get to that soon. So, this episode adapts from chapters, well, 138 pages 1 through 7 and 9 through 20. In fact, if I skip on one page, 1920 of 139 and the entirety of 140. Uh, mostly put, they wrap up the battle on the desert planet where they basically continue fighting the forces and they go to east, east, the east city where she fights Orc again, even though this isn't half of the manga. This is complete. This is actually the for one of the very instances of any original content here. And of course, bomb is shot out of the space, explodes. Shiki survives thanks to hacking by, of course, Pino and Hermit. And pretty much everything is wrapped up here. And of course, they, of course, the Oasis, the AKA the the, the, the Rebel Army, that proceeds to team up with the, the force of Eden Zero. Which, yeah, and for some reason, we're basically going to start using some Star Wars music here. I'll get to more of that soon. So, they go off into space, and we see that, that apparently there's now open conflict, where we have the, the intergalactic army fighting the, force, the, the, the forces of the Nero Empire. And, of course, Eden Zero is going to chip in while they go off on their go off on the planets Nero 66. The Red Army goes off on its own to do with the distraction. Meanwhile, though, Shira basically sees Eden Zero's coming to orbit, coming inside the atmosphere, and he knows his weight. That's Ziggy's ship. What, what's up with this, this black gravity ether? Yeah, basically, it's cheeky. Yep. Um, oh, yeah, there's also a whole thing where we talk with this woman named Princess. Yes, Princess. Where supposedly she was killed by Shira. And the way I met basically misses her. But this is more set up basically for what we have for maybe for season two. And, well, what Weiss tells him, tells the gunner, like, if anything happens, eating the crew, he will kill him. Of course, Jin and Kalin will stay on board because basically what she wants to. Of course, Jin's like, he prank, he cannot say no to his sister at all because he has a sister complex. <laughs> yes, seriously. He's not, a, he's not basically, like, attracted to his own sister. No, he just basically just very protective of her. Yes. Yeah, and, well, that kind of wraps up the, uh, of course, you have, you have a long preview of what could be for Season 3. And, oh, boy, they show some stuff. I remember from the manga, like, we see Shira look like he's holding witch hostage. And, yes, this happened in the manga. Yeah, we're teasing that for, for a potential season three. Now, I've not heard anything about season three, but this episode overall was really good. Final thoughts on this season. It's an absolutely really good season. I was actually quite surprised that it on Crunchyroll. I did not know it was even there at all. I mean, Crunchyroll never made an announce about it. I didn't hear anything about it. I just randomly typed it in on Crunchyroll. I'm like, oh, there it is. Because I was watching the same way I did the first season a couple years ago. And then I, after, like, the opening few episodes, then all of a sudden I'm looking like, uh, oh, Eden Zero is on Country Roll. I had no idea about that. And here's the thing. Sean Cuppel kind of knew about it, but he probably was probably a little surprised to end up on Country Roll. And I'm thinking, wait, I thought Netflix had distribution rights to this thing, not Country Roll. But the streamer, anyways. Maybe, and this is my personal theory about what happened here, is that JC staff was not happy with how Netflix handled the first season. Where, because Netflix is usual protocol, get their hands on anime, lock it up for six months, and then release it. Instead of, you know, release it weekly. So it gets a good, good amount of buzz around it. Because basically, they did for seven daily since, and they killed the buzz of that series. 
And by the way, it's a really good series, by the way. So I haven't watched the last season of W, but I'll, I'll get to it eventually. Now, one of my minor issues with the season, and this is something I'm sure... Now, I'm sure Crunchyroll probably is not going to get any flack from this. I'm sure you have JC staff might receive some flack for this because Crunchyroll probably is like, we had nothing to do. We're just shipping basically what was here. We're not altering anything. Because this season uses a lot of Star Wars music. Yes, a lot of Star Wars music. And it could be that maybe JC staff may have bought, the, may have purchased the rights to use this they use, they use not not like let's say all the entire Star Wars soundtrack per se. They use certain cues from it. Basically, if you listen to music, it's clue Star Wars music. That's literally what's going on here. Now I'm not really sure exactly why they decided to do this for, but they did. And this was this was the case for a lot of the episodes where we had to use a lot of Star Wars music. Maybe because also you didn't think of inspiration for Star Wars. It is possible. But love the season. I cannot wait for season three whenever it does come out. And hopefully this not take two years again. Because that's the long time between this one. Now, you might be asking. Okay, because it kind of got to 140. Like, how many chapters are there for Eden Zero? If you're really curious. Now, the most recent chapter that came out was not that one. It was, um, let's see. It was chapter 259. Yes, that was the most, uh, let's see, not 259. It's more like, let's see, um, 257. So they have like a hundred and... I think like 17 chapters. Yes, 117 chapters overall for the entire series of death. Okay, fine. Oh, excuse me. Now, how far do I think season two might, my season three might go to? Well, I definitely think they're going to finish in going through Nero Six. That's an obvious thing. The far go through that, uh, the X four nine five arc, which is like eleven chapters, and this basically will not take too long. Uh, and they might end with the Leonard saga. Yes, I think so. Mm hmm. Yeah, I think the Leonard Saga, probably the one arc that probably end off with, because there's like 40 chapters. And this probably might, might take up almost the entire season. It is possible. That or they can stretch out this 31 chapter arc. And with this episode, they only technically adapted one full chapter and they partially adapted another chapter. So, this would take up probably the first quarter of, like, it probably take up the first, let's see. I think if I remember correctly, the, the first arc of this season, which was the... The Balagor arc. This was 11 episodes. And here's the thing. Nero 66. Is the same amount of chapters. So. My guess is. Do I think it might take up 11, 11 episodes again? It is possible they might do that. Yes. I think so. But as for the arcs come right after that one. Like. X95. Because that's 11 chapters. You think. Okay. Would that take about. Uh, about. Four or five episodes? Uh, well, if I want to take the two, that could take about, I'd say, about six. But since the series likes doing three, um, I'm thinking that one... Now, in the case of Nero 6, that would probably obviously be like, maybe, well, they already have the one chapter for already. So, my guess, probably the first ten episodes that probably go through that one. In the case of 495, this one... Uh, which is the start of the Kendi Cosmos Saga. Yep. This one, I think, because it's 11 chapters. This one probably would not take about 6 episodes. My guess, 
five at most. Yeah, I'd say about five. Mm-hmm. Yeah, five, because they have, like, three chapters per episode. I actually think it might be four. Yeah, I think it might be four episodes for that one. Uh, as for the Leonard saga, which this one probably where they're probably going to end next season is this arc here. Um, how long would this arc season, this arc be, per se, if they adapt this one? Well, it's nine chapters longer than, let's say, the other one. This one might take up the rest of season three. Do I think it might take 11 episodes to go through 40 chapters? Uh, no, I think it might be 12. Yes. My guess is probably 12. But I, I do think possibly that that would be the arc will cap off season three whenever they adapt it. Mm -hmm. And you might be curious. Okay, are they going to get to the, when are they going to get to the Universe Zero Saga? Um, that's the current saga they're publishing right now. I think they might get this one. And this is my personal thing on the matter. If they get season four, they, they might they might get to that point. But right now, they're gonna go through like the next three arcs, and basically, hopefully, we're not gonna wait two years. Like I wouldn't mind this coming out next year because we have currently, like I mentioned, about hundred and eighteen chapters as we adapt. So we got a little while to go. Okay, so that's it for Sickle View. Uh, next up is gonna be My Hero Academia in one comic corner, and it's on to One Piece. And then after that, be of course be Without one, it'd be two comic corners. Now, for anime wise, they basically uh, at the One Piece be Bleach, Jujutsu Kaisen, and the last week case goes. If I can all well done say, okay, next video, bye.